unboxing the new Owens coming Owens generator 4500 peak 3700 continuous looks like it came with some oil also and some tools with a funnel for the oil and a charger cord for the battery this is what it looks like out of the box Here is the remote. And it looks like you gotta put oil in it. It's got a nice little handle to lift it. The battery did not come hooked up. It came from right inside the pouch area. And it looks like you just have a couple of connectors. I just installed the battery, pretty simple. I'm going to put this cover back onto it. Alright, now let's get to the oil. Let's get to the oil now. Okay, there's no oil at all. And we're going to add some oil. I'm going to use a different funnel. I don't really care for the funnel it came with. It looks like it started to leak a little bit. Alright, it's time for some gas. So let's get some gas in this. We're going to do our first start now after adding oil and fuel. This will be our first start. We're going to turn the fuel on. Looks like eco off. Turn the battery on. Looks good. Press and hold. And wow. Pretty good. This is as quiet as my Honda 3000. Wow, I'm really impressed. Wow. I'm now going to turn the eco mode on. Wow, really nice. Nice and quiet. Yeah, I'm happy about it. It's pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to gently break it in and uh, change the oil on it and uh, I'll uh, take care of that and I'll give you an update after. Let's test out the remote start. I'll press it on. Here we go. Press on. Come on. Put eco on. Shut it off. Shut off the eco. Let's test it with a heat gun. I've got a Craftsman heat gun and it does, I believe, a thousand watts and 1400 watts. So let's start it off. We're on eco mode. Okay. Not much of a load. Looks like we're still at 0%. So I'm running now 1400 watts. And almost a quarter load.
this is what the display panel looks like. Right here you've got a RV camper 30 amp plug. You've got two outlets, one 20 outlets. So as you can see it says 30 amps, 120 volts, 120 amps, uh, or 120 volts, 20 amps. You've got right here the parallel um, down at the bottom here the reset up here um, right here is to uh, charge the battery that it came with uh, a wall plug um, right here is the indicator that's running eco mode is right up at the top here the push button on off uh, to start it uh, right here is the on off Let's see your ground uh, if you're gonna run a ground or because uh, I think it's open neutral if you don't a um, couple indicators including your oil light a USB uh, it's got two USBs at 2.1 amps uh, the reset and your display right here you've got the manual push button right here and that uh, you could toggle through the displays it's got the handle right here so you can uh, lift it up what is going on so I've got a quick review between the Honda 3000 IS and the Owens Cummins uh, 4500 peak 3700 continuous I like it I have both of them and which one would I recommend? Well, let me tell you. I actually have two Honda 3000 ISs. And um, the reason I bought the Cummins Owens is because my toy hauler has a 1500 BTU AC unit. And with the microwave and the refrigerator, it was putting quite a bit of a load on my Honda. My Honda is a, a 2022. I bought it this year and I love it just like I love my original Honda 3000 uh, IS and uh, uh, so I, I'm still going to keep both of them. I do love both of them but the Cummins Owens is replacing my 3000 uh, because it produces true 30 amps with a peak of 37 amps and a peak of 4500 watts my honda only produces 23 amps and it's a big difference between those 23 amps and uh up to 37 amps on the common owens generator it's a little bit louder and it's not crazy loud, but it is. It's about two to four decibels louder, uh, depending on uh, if you have any, uh, if it's if the generator is on the ground and there's grass around it, how tall the grass is, if there's any rocks or bushes around it. Now, one thing I don't like about the uh, the Cummins Owens is uh, the oil change isn't exactly the easiest. Uh, you can get to it, but to drain it, it's not exactly, uh, my opinion, as easy as the Honda. And the other thing is, I don't like where the exhaust is. It's a few inches off the ground, and my Honda's up high. So when I have this on my toy hauler, especially on the front, uh, that's where the batteries are, um, on the front, uh, the tongue, um, I could run the Honda no problem and it won't affect the batteries now being that it's much lower the exhaust I have to test it and see if it's going to heat up the battery box and uh, cause the battery box to melt and or will also uh, that heat bounce back toward the generator as well to cause the generator casing to uh, heat up and warp so um, I will give you more updates on it. Please uh, subscribe, give a thumbs up, and 
I will give you some more updates. Thanks for watching.